and now the second type is the second type is what are what are meter type induction relay next topic is what are meter type induction relay so the construction of this type of relay is similar to the watt meter type and uh, watt hour meter actually so which is very popular uh, they are used everywhere actually so thus the relay uh, has double winding structure and the arrangement is uh, uh, shown as this let me draw the figure first and uh, I'm just pausing so <coughs> this is the basic construction is e uh, there are two magnets first one is e shaped and second one is u shaped so thus a uh, relay has double winding structure so let me draw the relay coil here this is a relay coil relay coil and i will wound like this this is the relay coil another one the construction is like this this is e shaped magnet fine this is disk fine this is disk and from that tripping circuit is connected like this tripping contact actually this is another one two trip circuit two trip circuit another one coil like this let me draw with a different color so this coil it will create this loop let's say this relay coil 1 is uh, the current flowing in the relay coil is i1 this is i2 in the second coil actually this is the secondary coil actually secondary coil <coughs> fine this is disk so uh, it consists of two magnets one e shaped and the other one is u shaped magnet that disk is free to rotate in between these two magnets and the upper e shaped magnet it carries both primary winding and secondary winding so primary winding uh, which is a relay coil and the secondary winding this is the secondary winding so the primary carries the relay current i1 i have already shown that the primary carries the relay current i1 which produces the flux phi1 because of this i1 current flux phi1 will uh, will get produced in this particular magnet so because of i1 phi1 is produced so because of phi1 the emf also gets induced in the secondary due to this flux because of this flux in the secondary another one flux will be induced which is phi 2 like this if i denote like this okay uh, circulating in this manner phi 2 uh, 
so the uh, primary carries the relay current i1 which produces the flux phi1 and the emf gets induced in the secondary due to this flux and this drives the current i2 this drives the current i2 through secondary and now uh, due to this current i2 due to this current i2 flux phi2 gets produced in the lower magnet and this flux lag behind the main flux phi1 ओके जो ये फ्लक्स है सेकंड वाइंडिंग में जो भी जनरेट होगा ये जो फाइव वन से कितना होगा लैग होगा ठीक है फाइव वन से लैग होगा सो दिस फ्लक्स लैग बिहाइंड द मेन फ्लक्स फाइव वन बाय एन एंगल सम एंगल एक्चुअली लेट से एंगल अल्फा नाउ ड्यू टू द इंटरेक्शन ऑफ दिस टू फ्लक्सेस ड्यू टू द इंटरेक्शन ऑफ दिस टू फ्लक्सेस द टॉर्क इज एक्सेप्टेड ऑन द डिस्क द टॉर्क इज एक्सेप्टेड ऑन दिस डिस्क एंड द डिस्क starts to rotate now assuming that the entire flux phi1 entire flux phi1 enters the disk from upper magnet from upper magnet and entire flux phi2 enters the disk from the lower magnet okay so uh, what i'm trying to tell you that assuming that the entire flux jo pura flux hai is e shape magnet ka वो पूरा जो है वो डिस्क की तरफ आएगा और ये जो फ्लक्स है यहाँ पे जो प्रोड्यूस है वो यहाँ पे आएगा सो दो एंटायर फ्लक्स ऑफ फाइव वन एंटर्स द डिस्क फ्रॉम अपर मैग्नेट एंड एंटायर फ्लक्स फाइव टू एंटर्स द डिस्क फ्रॉम लोअर मैग्नेट सो वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन टॉर्क इज प्रपोर्शनल टू फाइव वन फाइव टू एंड साइन अल्फा सो ये आप सबको पता ही होगा कि पिछले दो तीन लेक्चर से जो है वो मैं ये कहता आ रहा हूँ और ये हमने प्रूव भी किया है तो आप सबको ये पता होना चाहिए सो इन दिस रिले दी टैपिंग्स कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द प्राइमरी इफ यू वांट टू प्रोवाइड सम टैपिंग्स यू कैन प्रोवाइड ऑन द प्राइमरी साइड ओके सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू कैन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सुटेबल नंबर ऑफ प्राइमरी टर्म्स कैन बी सिलेक्टेड ओके एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन सिलेक्ट और एज पर दी रिलेज रिक्वायरमेंट वी कैन सिलेक्ट द प्राइमरी नंबर टर्म्स एंड हैंस द करंट सेटिंग कैन बी एडजस्टेड so most of the induction relays are of this type an important uh, feature of this relay uh, is that its operation can be controlled by opening or closing of the secondary winding so it is open uh, so if uh, if it is open then no current can flow through the secondary hence flux phi2 cannot be produced and hence no torque can be induced or no uh, torque can be produced so uh, the relay cannot be uh, ca uh, uh, rotate so the relay can be made in operative opening of the sep secondary winding so uh, this was all about the uh, watt armature type induction relay so uh, this is the next type of your induction cup type relays uh, uh, induction relay actually and this is the induction cup type relay is the uh, induction cup type relay structure so the construction of this type of relay is very similar to an induction motor actually so the arrangement is shown here the stator it consists of two four or more poles actually this uh, structure is all uh, regarding a stator then these are arranged by relay coils so relay coils you can observe here and this whole are the stator structure and these are the poles and the stator consists of two four or more poles and they uh, they all are energized by relay coils so this figure shows uh, the four pole structure and hence the uh, the two pairs of coils actually two pairs of coils the coils one the uh, uh, there are four coils actually but the pair is only two okay so let me uh, just uh, uh, denote one by one that uh, this is the cup type rotor cup type rotor we just use another pen yes this is the cup type rotor yes this is the cup type rotor okay and stationary core stationary core which is here stationary core okay 
so uh, let me just tell you that uh, this is the one one dash two and two dash coil fine so and uh, this one is the electromagnet actually electromagnet electromagnet now <laughs> here the coils uh, consider this coil here the coils 1 and 1 dex are connected 1 and 1 dex are connected while the coils 2 and 2 are connected to form a pair okay this two should be connected and this two should be connected to make a pair okay to form a pair so the rotor is okay fine this is the uh, side view uh, if you look at the front view then it would look like this so this is the hollow cylindrical cup type uh, structure in structure actually so the compared to the induction motor the difference is uh, that in this relay the rotor core is stationary rotor core is stationary and only rotor conductor portion is free to rotate about it axis so whole rotor does not rotate here okay so in this relay the rotor core is stationary and only rotor conductor portion is free to rotate about it axis so the current and respective fluxes produced by the two pairs of coils are displaced from each other by an angle phi some angle phi actually let's say fine so uh, uh, we are talking about that uh, we have to form the one uh, pair the coils one and one dex are connected while two and two dex are connected so thus the current and uh, respective fluxes produced by these uh, pairs of the uh, of the coils are displaced from each other by an angle uh, some angle phi so thus the resultant flux in the air gap is rotating okay because of this two and because of this two because of this two one flux is produced one because of this two one flux another flux is produced we can say that okay but these two fluxes are displaced from each other okay and the resultant flux is in the air gap and it is rotating in the air gap so rotating magnetic field which is rmf okay rotating magnetic field is produced by two pairs of coils and due to this eddy currents are induced in the cup type rotor because of that eddy currents are induced so this current produce the flux because of that current because of that eddy current your flux can uh, produced can be produced and the interaction of these two fluxes it produces the torque and the rotor rotates in the same direction as that of rotating magnetic field so the direction of rotating field as well as the direction of rotor both will be in the same direction so a control spring and the uh, back stop that carried on an arm uh, that is attached to the uh, spindle of the cup uh, that are responsible to prevent continuous rotation actually fine so uh, this uh, is the simplest construction actually this is the simplest construction of uh, induction type of relay uh, these relays are um, uh, actually very fast in operation very fast in operation very fast in operation and the operating time uh, of the uh, operating time of this relay is particularly uh, particularly the uh, order of 10 millisecond actually within the, uh, 10 millisecond actually operating uh, time so uh, which is very less actually so uh, 10 millisecond can be possible with this type of relay this is because the rotor is light and having a very low moment of inertia so the induction cup structure can be used for two quantity that can be uh, Mm, uh, quantity or you can say a single quantity is relay okay that can be used for uh, multi quantity uh, uh, two quantity or single quantity relays a single quantity relay means uh, single what is what do you mean by single quantity relay a single quantity relay means both the uh, coils are fed by the same actuating quantity with a fixed phase angle shift in between them to reduce the rotor inertia and to make the operation more fast double induction loop structure is used so uh, uh, double induction uh, loop structure look like this uh, it will be uh, having 
like this fine and the core will be like this this is the core actually this is core and this is the rotor this is the rotor so this is the <coughs> double induction loop structure and in all the induction relays are widely used for protective relays involving such quantities uh, and high low and adjustable speed are possible in these relays actually so a high low and <coughs> sorry adjustable adjustable speeds are possible